Stay up, John. Let me move up to you. Right. This is Jeff. Without the coal dust, I've been at Chatley Whitfield, and we've had one of our members' meetings here. And I'll get a quick scan round there. Some of you were quite sceptical when I said we've got a new MP up Stoke and he was all for saving Chatterley Whitfield. I've sent videos out, Facebook Lives, lots of comments saying, oh, I believe that when I say it. Here we are, literally, it's not even a month later, and we've just had a committee meeting. I'd like to introduce you now to... Jonathan, oh shit, um. wrong way round. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, I'm no good at this. Hopefully, you can see Jonathan. This is Jonathan Gullis, the MP for North Stoke on Trent, Kidsgrove, and Talk. And um, let's just see, in the words of Jonathan Gullis, what his ideas are for Chatterley Whitfield. So, look. It's very simple. Number one on my list of things that we need to do is to save Chatham Whitfield. That doesn't mean necessarily saving the entire site, but it means our key buildings do need government investment. They need private sector investment and they need the city council and the friends working together for a long term plan to make sure we preserve our industrial heritage. Remember that we wouldn't have seen the fire burning to make sure those plates those and, uh, and those mugs were made if it wasn't for what happened here. I've been up in the northeast. I've got family from, you know, great, great grandparents who are from the northeast working down the mines. I know how important it is that we see our heritage preserved. So anyone who doubts, listen on Tuesday. I'll be making my maiden speech. You will hear Chatley Whitfield be front and centre of that speech. You're also going to see me mentioning it on regional news in the local paper time and time again. Because if we don't save this site, if we don't show that people we respect their heritage and their history, then we are going to end up in a very sad state of affairs where the next generation don't understand the sacrifice that the ones before them made. So believe Jeff, believe me, things are going to happen, things are going to change. Save Charlie Whitfield and make sure you book to come visit the Heritage Open Days. Well, 